Alright, well, he didn't. I broke my uh, E string the other day. Um, I think what happened was we had a tocada and um, it was really cold. And the next day I started playing it, I didn't re-tighten the strings, so I guess that's like a tip. If you guys are gonna play in the cold and you gotta re, uh, re-tune your strings, make sure you uh, tune them again whenever you're gonna play with, like indoors because it does mess with your uh, strings. This happened to me. Oh, and also, this is like the number one question everywhere. People asking what type of strings I use, like what type of strings these are. There's a couple of people that use the Black Beauties, um, and some think that these are the Black Beauties, but I don't, I don't uh, use those. I use the um, these boys right here. I use the uh, the Dorio nylon tape wounds, the ETB 92s, medium gauge, 50 to 105, the long scale, because it's a long scale. I just like them because they're so not as bright. I know the phosphors uh, for acoustics, they, they sound bright and uh, loud, but it also makes like a buzzing noise. So a lot of you have also been asking me like about buzzing noises, like why is my bass buzzing? It's probably those strings you got. I mean, I would say try these out. If you guys want that sound of uh, a mind sounds whenever I'm like chicoteando. I would recommend these strings. Yeah, so let me show you guys, I guess, the process on how to change the strings. So since mine's the, let me try to focus this. So since mine's the E string, which is right here, you just turn it the opposite, like from when you're tuning it. So you're gonna be twisting it to the right. Twist it to the right, or you can use, where's it at? Oh. Or you can use one of these. It's um, it's like to cut your strings, but it's got this little piece at the end also, and that's to uh, help you tune and untune the bass. So uh, I think you can get it on Amazon. Um, all you do is just twist it like that, so your strings all the way loose, and then you just pull it out. So. Um, so now like now that you pull the string out on the bottom end you got these little pegs these pegs right here all you do is pop them out and sometimes it takes a little bit of force to pop, to pop them out so give me a sec I need to use both hands so there it is right there and that's the end of the string when you open up when you open up your bag of with your new strings um, it tells you like what color goes with uh, what uh, string. The E string on this one is the brass color. Over here, like the end of that, that's a brass color. Since this is a four string base, I ordered the just a four string set. I'm gonna put the link in the bio to where I buy my strings, so anybody that ever asks me, I'm just gonna send you guys straight to the link to this video so you guys can go buy them. So, I stand pues. As I was saying, for example, your black string is your D string, which would be Re. Your red string would be the last string, so the one right after uh, me, which would be the brass, and then the green one is Sol. So, that's the way you read these little bags, it's just by reading the color on them. All right, so I got my new string right here. All you do is put it in the, uh, Put it right there in the hole, and then make sure that your peg is facing towards the string. And then you you put pressure on your peg, but yank on your string so that it gets on there tight. Don't overdo it, just push it a little, just so it's got some grip. The acoustic bass, whenever you're tightening them up, the peg sometimes like to uh, pop out, so you gotta be careful with that. So if that happens, I'll show you guys, but now that I got the string in on the bottom, I'm gonna run the string up. And the way that I measure it when I'm cutting it, I'll put it on there like as if I was running it on, like as if it was already on the base. But this is the mistake that I that I did a couple times when I first started, cause I didn't know how to do it. But make sure you don't undercut the string because you just basically destroy the string you can't use it I've done that so many times just by being dumb for example on the E string 
since the peg is right here, I would measure out to like the top of the of the lap peg. Give it like about a good inch, inch and a half. So I cut off quite a bit right there, you see? So now that I cut it to uh, length, you put the uh, string on the inside and since you're gonna be twisting the knobs to the left, it's gonna move the peg towards the left also. So push the string in there and then what I do is I just hold it down right there. I just put some pressure on it so that it's hanging over the side and then you can just twist it by hand but I find it quicker just doing it with this. You don't want to over tighten it because sometimes you'll just be tightening it and tightening it and you'll end up popping the string and you don't even know how tight uh, you have it. You have the string on there so let me get my tuner real quick. Now for for this base that I'm using right here, this is the the Fender, the Fishman, not the Kingman. This is the Fishman. The the uh, equalizer it's got on here, it's a it's a pretty good one. But I I like using a tuner because I feel like tuners are more accurate. But this the built-in uh, tuner on these bases is uh, it's pretty good. It's, if you need a tuner, I mean you can just go online, get yourself a little tuner, they're like five bucks, ten bucks. I guess I'll put the link to the one that I use, that way you guys can uh, go buy it. Anyways, I get my tuner on there, and I gotta tune this up to E. So right now I'm reading my tuner, still pretty loose. Now by hand I just start tightening it, and it's gonna look like I was talking about the peg the peg popped out right there so what you do right there is push it down I just push it down and I hold it down and I just keep tightening the base slowly though alright so right there my string is pretty close the thing when you get new strings you gotta play them for a little you gotta break them in I say play a couple songs uh, don't go crazy on the chicoteando uh, they might break them but uh, on these, break them in for like a good 20 minutes, retie them, wait two, three times, and then they don't, they don't really get out of tune. So it keeps getting untuned, but that's normal because it's new strings. Let them get stretched out a little. All right, we're right there. I'm just breaking it in a little. And I just played it for like a good 30 seconds and it's already out of tune, so keep retuning them. Just play, be patient, tune them a couple times and uh, bam, you got yourself your strings on there. You just repeat the same process to all the strings. Leave an extra inch. For example, how I was telling you that when I'm on these, I measure up like to the top of these, which is like a good inch. So whenever you're measuring these out, just measure off on the top right here. Whenever it clears the top, just trim off right there. Leave an inch on all your strings. So I thought was a um, little tutorial on how to change the strings.